Hey two, what's going on? Chris here. I want to bring you all a quick update on XRP. Guys, it's just going to be a fast one here. I want to go over just a few things. Our trend line here is still holding. So what we're going to be paying attention to today is if we have a trend line, or I'm sorry, a candle close up above this, this trend line or down below it because we had a slight wick below it today. So we're going to pay, pay close attention to it. We're going to zoom in there and we're going to get after this, guys. If you like these XRP updates, like, subscribe, guys, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you being here with me today. All right, so let's dig into this. What happened is, guys, we're still holding these higher lows. So we've still been putting in higher lows right now. And what we're waiting to see is if we get a close up above this trend line and we continue to work up this trend line to try to challenge, it'll be around about, we'll call it 45 cents and then eventually 46 cents. And that's if we're moving to the upside here where it kind of looks like we double topped a little bit. To the downside, guys, what we would be looking at is if we had a close below this trend line. And then next, we would look to see if we found support off this 20 EMA, which has been acting as support. Those have been your higher lows right there. See that, guys, where the volume started to come back in off this, we'll call it orange, moving average there. So I'm going to be looking for those key areas there. Also, what I want to point out to you, and this is something we've been looking at for a while now, we do have that golden cross that has been confirmed of that 50 moving average over top of that 200 day moving average. And now what we're going to see is if our 100 day moving average is going to make it over our 200 day moving average. So that could be the next one to pay attention to because typically, guys, you can see when we got the cross here, we started to push up a little bit. And sometimes when these crosses come in, it can give you another leg up. So that's something that you do want to pay attention to but right now what we're also seeing though is this candle it's very close to this trend line but we're ha we're potentially having a stochastic cross to the downside here and guys i'm not saying that it's going to completely go all the way down because sometimes what you can do like right in here do you see how you're fighting back and forth a lot this could be an area where we chop back and forth a little bit while we grind up this trend line before we either decide to break up or break to the downside Okay, so we're looking at that on the stochastic RSI. And I also want to go over a few indicators, some other indicators with y'all. What next we're going to do is our MACD, and we're going to see how that's looking. And we're going to check our histogram as well. All right, so guys, on the MACD here, and this is another thing. We're just kind of kind of adding everything up together. We're putting stuff in the bullish camp. We're putting stuff in the bearish camp. That's what we're trying to do here. So now we're going to pay attention to see if we get a cross to the downside here on the MACD, guys. The histogram is ticking to the downside. So we're going to have to pay attention to that and see if it actually starts crossing to the negative. So sometimes with the histogram, guys, what you can have is areas like this over here where you can head down and then you bounce right back up and then you bounce down and you can bounce back up. So that can happen. But we're going to wait to see if we start getting ticks to the downside. So that's going to be important. Next thing we want to look at is our RSI. And on our relative strength index, guys, I'm going to be looking at this trend line here. I think this is going to be an important one. You can kind of see this. I'm just going to do a rough one. We're going to see if we get a bounce off that or we break through, guys. So that's what I'm saying. We're, we're at a tight spot here. We're either going to decide we don't have many days left to where we either break up or we break down. We're just getting really pinned here. And also with that, I wanted to show you the angle of this trend line. This is a steep angled trend line. And when they get steep, guys, they're more prone to break. When they're real shallow, that's when they really can hold for you. So this one is roughly at about 58 degrees. So that's getting very steep. And that's just a rough estimate, guys. So when you have trend lines like this, just to teach you something. So when you have them low like that, and let's do the angle of that just so you can see this here. This almost should be viewed, say it was like this guys is almost a concrete wall to go long when you get back down to that area because it's so shallow and especially if you have large gaps if there's a large gap then it comes back onto and you find support there and good volume comes in that's the spot to go long but those angles of the trend lines are very important I've been doing a lot of studying on those so guys we'll get that off there and with that trend line off now you can kind of see as well I'll draw that later for myself you can see this 20 that we would want to have act as support. Guys, all through the bear market, if you take a look at this 20, we were ridden. Do you see this? Almost every time we'd have a reaction, we'd come up to and then we'd fall again. React, fall. Just like that, where we'd be going back and forth. And now once we started to change, and, and guys, here, this is a perfect example. This, and I'm just t spotting this here. So look at those. 
I mean, it, it hasn't been crazy with our higher lows, but we have had higher lows here. And this, we would still consider this an intermediate term bullish uptrend. And that's what I'm saying. We're just going to see if we're going to continue this move up. Because ultimately, guys, if we do have another leg up, we definitely could come up here and test that 54, 55. And then it would probably be around, because the wick was really long there, guys, I'd go about 68 cents right in there. And that's huge percentage gains. And guys, RSI there at 59, so there's more room to run to the upside, and there's definitely more room to go to the downside here. We're just going to pay attention if on the RSI we start having candle closes below that as well. You can see, guys, we had some heavier volume here to the, to the red here once we had that double top. So maybe that is another sign there that we could break down and see if we find support around that 40 cents. And then, guys, I would look down around probably about that 34 cent area. So that's what I want to bring to you guys. Just a quick one. If you like these little fast XRP updates, guys, leave it down low. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. I appreciate you being here with me today. Have a great Saturday night. Take care, my friends. And pay attention to this. It could break very soon. Either direction.